For close to a century, the Conrad Schmidt Studios has etched its mark in extraordinary and uncomparable ways. Its name has become synonymous with quality craftsmen. Precise detail and uncommon endurance. Able to stand the test of time. The Conrad Schmidt Studios has created some of the best works of art in North America. The studio is known for creating fine works of art in stained glass. It is an art, a 2,000 year old art form, the making of stained glass. Yet today, for Conrad Schmidt Studios, creating stained glass demands this company be contemporary in its thinking contemporary in its design, and contemporary in its work. Bernard Grinke Sr. and his son Bernard Grinke Jr. are the master artisans behind the gifted men and women who symbolize the quality workmanship of Conrad Schmidt Studios. Assembled at the studio is a rare group of fine artists and craftsmen. Each deeply skilled in applying age-old principles to masterpieces for the 21st century. Through our generation, we're demonstrating or showing the next generation what the last generation was. And we're extending the life of decorating projects for decades, if not generations, to come. For Conrad Schmidt Studios, the commitment to excellence is almost a century old. It was in 1889 that the studio was founded. Fifty years ago, Bernard Grinke Sr. entered the craft and has continued to insist on providing the best quality and service in the field of stained glass. The colored hand-blown sheet glass used in the making of windows is secured in places as far away as France, England, West Germany, as well as the Blenko Stained Glass Company in Milton, West Virginia. It is here in West Virginia that Conrad Schmidt Studios finds some of the antique glass it needs to maintain the sought-after quality in each project.
These hand-blown sheets of colored glass line the walls of the studio much like the colors on a painter's palette. Out of these virgin materials, glass and lead, the designers and craftsmen must accept the disciplines of aesthetic and technical quality. Glass, with its inherent characteristic of light coming through pure color, is a powerful medium, requiring the control and discretion of the glass artist. In a contemporary world, the art of stained glass must be spirited, thought-provoking, and relevant. These artistic elements, the visual statements, must be ensured and protected by the best methods of production and structuring. Aesthetic merit, once achieved and made reality, can continue for all time, fulfilling the legacy that art is forever. If we do the eye as we think of it in glass, we would overly exaggerate that eye and treat this in a, a dimension of a black that would carry in that manner. And this eye now must be visible in a cathedral or church for 150 or 200 feet. Now you see the relationship of the light and the dark. It's only the little bit of light that comes through this and is sending the message. The concept of visual exaggeration remains one of the underlying principles in the design of glass at Conrad Schmidt Studios today. Basically, I suppose, personally, I, I feel that I'm a glass designer. And although I am involved in more than that here, uh, I design mosaics and, and uh, uh, furnishing for ch furnishings for churches and uh, statues and wood carvings and, and uh, fitments for the altar and that sort of thing. And uh, I, I feel that's a, an awfully good uh, basic training for a designer because uh, I don't think in any field a designer can uh, do adequate justice to his work unless he really understands the material that he's working with. 